Hi, it's Denise with Ladybug Stampin' here with another video tutorial for you guys today and welcome back to my channel. I, channel, I can't talk this morning. Uh, <laughs> I do want to say a quick thank you guys. This is day, i not sure, I think 21 because I recorded this um, after my, um, well, from my Sunday night uh, live on YouTube. And so I wanted to make sure and get this out as quick as possible. So I think it's day 21. We're almost over, you guys. But keep commenting on these videos because you don't know what may happen at the end of the month. <laughs> okay, so stop teasing. So we're going to be using, today we're going to be using Geared Up Garage. And I know this is going to be kind of like a Father's Day card. And it's not Father's Day, y'all. But I wanted to make this card and I wanted to make it with this particular stamp set and... I needed some sentiments and I used this. Uh, you can make this into a birthday card. That's totally fine. Um, but now I have a Father's Day card available ready and waiting, right? So, all right. So this is what we're going to make. This is called a flag card. A flag up card. Now I can't remember what it's called. It's a sometimes flag fold card. Flag fold card. That's what it's called. But this is cut at six by four inches. Or this is cut at, this is a finished card's size at six by four and so you have it like this and then you open it up and it's got these little flags so that's why it's called a flag fold card but I want to see if I could make it into a five and a half by four and a quarter card to see if it would fit in an envelope now I don't know because it is so kind of thick if it will still fit we're going to try it at the end and see so I did cut it down and get those measurements. So we're going to make this card. Isn't that cute? All right, but this is in real red, and today we're going to be using a different color. All right, well, let's go ahead and let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need is a piece of cardstock. Now we're going to be using Misty Moonlight this time. And this is cut at eight and a half by four, uh, by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. So you're going to end up with this fold like this, and you're going to burnish that. And then you're going to take a piece of DSP, and this is cut at eight and a quarter by five and a half. Okay, so eight and a quarter by five and a half. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to take no ten. That, wait, ten and a quarter by yeah, ten and a quarter by five and a half. We're going to score this. Sorry, guys. You know, it happens, right? Okay. <laughs> so we're going to take it. We're going to score it at two and one eight three and one eight, four and one eight, five and one eight, six and one eight, seven and one eight, and eight and one eight. Now on this one, you score it at two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But that's for the six by four card. We want, so I had to change it up just a little bit and do an eight. I'm sorry, you guys. I know you guys don't like those. I do apologize. Okay, so now we're going to burnish our lines and we're going to start so you have all your fold lines or your score lines and we're going to start at this end and this is a two and an eighth inch flap okay and we're going to uh fold this way okay now this dsp comes from the in uh, good taste and the reason why i chose this one and the other one is from in good taste is because this looks like concrete to me um so i was thinking of the garage floor doesn't that kind of look like concrete in a way so that's what i was kind of thinking of you know a garage floor they keep their cars and stuff like that okay and then you just come back and what you end up with is this so you want one two three peaks that's what you want okay now isn't that cool so now we're going to take our misty moonlight and we're going to adhere it like this. We're going to take the flaps. Each one of these flaps are going to go at each end of the card like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and adhere that. And I'm just going to use some stamp and seal. And we are going to have to make sure that you do it all the way at the end, edge of the paper. And you're going to have to make sure that you, you know, get to the corner. And then over here where your fold, you want it put some adhesive on there as well okay and that's just going to help and secure it really well you could do um, maybe some little pieces here but I just would rather just do the whole thing it'll help it not to like come apart or you know bow all right so very carefully because I did this one ahead of time 
when I shouldn't have. <laughs> is I'm going to take this and line this up with my card base. So I'm just going to, and it has to match up. Okay, I'll show you in just a second. As soon as I get this adhered. All right, and then this end, and we're going to take it. I just want to make sure it is lined up. I know perfectly, right? <laughs> okay. Okay, so there we go. So do you see how this is lined up with your card base? Now, we're going to pre-fold this card to make sure those all work. Oh, yes. <gasps> I'm so happy. I'm just going to rub it with my fingers. <gasps> I am so happy about that, y'all. <gasps> That worked, that worked. I'm so happy. Now, if you came off on the edge a little bit, you can take your paper snips, like I'm gonna have to do, it looks like, and you can trim it a little bit, just to clean it up. Let's see. I think that's fine. Yeah, that side's fine, okay. Oh, I like that. So then when they open the card, it's like this. Okay, so now let's put this to the side for just a second. Now we're going to go ahead and do our stamping. So I've got five pieces here. Where's the other one? These are cut at one and seven eighths by one and seven eighths because the mat we're going to be using blue, misty blue is two by two. So you're going to take this and you're going to adhere this to this. Okay. Now I chose smoky slate because I thought it would go really good with these colors. Let me show you. It's going to kind of lay inside like like that. Okay, that's why I chose Smoky Slate and not like a Whisper White or Very Vanilla. Okay, so um, we're also going to get out a, another piece of Smoky Slate that is cut at three by one and three quarters. Okay, and that's going to go on a mat too. And I'll get this is cut at um, three and eighths by one and seven eighths. But don't forget, all the measurements we down listed below. You guys are, I really, they will be listed. There's so many measurements in this video. Um, yeah, <laughs> just be easier. Okay, and then, so we're going to go ahead and take this. Now, originally, I had stamped this all in Smoky Slate, and then you just had a little bit of the red, but I think this time, um, I'm going to stamp in Misty Blue, Misty Midnight, okay? Now, if you're watching this video, and I did use Misty Moonlight, it turned out. If not, I went, then I went back to Smoky Slate. <laughs> I am going to do something a little bit different with this particular um, card with the dies. I'm going to use the dies this time. So, so we're just going to go ahead and tar start taking it. We're going to stamp. I hope this turns out, y'all. Oh, I think I am going to like this. Okay. If it's not perfect, don't worry about it. You know what I mean? And then we're going to take the little bolt and we're going to just kind of stamp all around here. Just kind of fill this up okay like that it just gives it a kind of a different look you know because we're going to use all the stamps and then we're going to do the same thing with this one i'm going to stamp one right in the middle and then i'm going to come back and stamp like that i'm just kind of filling up the page a little bit okay and then on this one we're going to stamp up our sentiment, all geared up to celebrate. And I'm going to do it at an angle like this so that you can put your little message on there for your father, your dad. And then this one as well. And we're going to put this one, turn it over. And make sure I try to get this lined up as best as I can. I don't think my first one was lined up really well but okay that works that works okay so this is all ready and then we're going to go ahead and take our at this smoky slate and we're going to stamp our car let's see make sure i can get this even because i trimmed this a little bit okay that works and then we're going to get the best dad and we're going to punch this out we're going to die cut it and punch it out so i'm going to stamp right here okay but before we do that we'll finish our stamping 
So then we're going to take a piece of four and an eighth by five and three eighths and smoky slate. And I'm going to take this little like oil spill look. Okay. And we're going to stamp it on our card, this mat. Okay. And we're, what we're trying to do is make it look like oil. Like, you know how oil looks on the ground, like on your on your garage floor, or, you know, when you go to the shop or something like that. Kind of, that's what it reminds me of, kind of like this. Okay, so now we have all of our stamping done. We're going to take the dies, okay? So we're going to take these dies, and we're going to take some silver foil. And we're going to, oh wait, we're going to stamp the car again one more time. I forgot that because I do want to die cut that car. So let's stamp out our car one more time. Okay. Because this is for the front. We're going to liven up the front a little bit. All right. And then we've got our some foil. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this big gear one. Isn't this cool? And we're going to put it on that silver foil. And then I'm going to take some of these smaller gears to put them inside the card. And I don't know what I'm going to use yet because this, I don't have this card pre-made except for my version on from the live. Take those off. All right, I think I can get all that, all that in there. Okay, I'm going to run this through the uh, Stampin' Cut Boss Machine and I will be right back. So I'm going to take my die cutting brush and I'm just going to poke, run it around my die. Now I do have a little... I don't hardly ever use this, <laughs> but you can take this. It does make it easier, and it will release it. Okay, I just have to move it over sometimes. Look at that. <gasps> Look at that. Now, there might be a couple pieces that want to be ornery and stick in there, but this was run, literally, y'all, one time through that machine. One time. So, move that over like that. You could even save these little pieces right here for something else. I know. I, I'm at scrapbooking. That's what I'm from, you know, so I use all my scraps. But those look like little bolts. They're like little screwdrivers or something, screws or something. All right, so next thing, I want to show you guys this particular die. Look how it cut it out. I don't know about you guys, but this reminds me of something. It reminds me of a Wonder Woman. <laughs> but it cuts it out like that. So we're actually going to pop this up on a dimensional. And then we have our car. And then we're going to attach it. Okay, so let's get all our pieces together and clean this up. And we'll put our card together. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take our Taylor Tag Punch. And I'm going to punch out of some Smoky Slate and some Misty Moonlight. I'm going to trim the Smoky Slate with my paper snips. Okay, and I because I want to take and layer this. So, did I trim this one? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. We'll find out. There we go. So, I mean, that's good. Okay, that's good. I'll go with that. Okay, now we can start putting our card together uh, finally. So, we're going to take these little pieces and we're going to adhere them to all of these. So, we're just going to take our uh, stamp and seal. I got two on here over here. And I'm going to just adhere it, put some or piece on the back, and adhere all five pieces to this. Okay. So I've got all these adhered. So what I'm going to do now is I took some adhesive and put on each end of those little wings. And I'm going to try to set this right in the middle of this. Let's see if I make sure that I am setting this fairly in the middle. Okay. Because once I set it down, it's done. Okay. And then we're going to take this and we're going to put a little dim a dimensional on the back. Kind of pop that up as well. And have that sitting right in the center of this. Yeah, don't adhere it yet, Denise. Sorry, guys, I had an alarm that went off. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. Just before I really set it down, I just want to make sure. This is a booger. Okay. Oh, that looks cute. Oh, that looks cute. Now we're going to take some dimensionals and put on our car. And we're going to lay this right up top of our other car that we stamped earlier like that okay now we're going to take this inside and we're going to adhere our little squares and so what you're going to do is you want to line them all up the, the way you want them to go in all the same way like this okay and 
that we got them. This is the easiest way I found for me to do this because I kind of messed up on, on Sunday. Um, I mean, I was able to fix it, but so we're going to turn them over like this and we're going to adhere this side. So, well, maybe I should go this way because I'm left-handed, but if you're right-handed, you could do that. So I'm going to go turn them upside down for me and turn them over and I know I'm going to adhere this side right here. Okay. Just one little strip and we're going to layer them. We're going to lay them here on our little peaks. So we're going to go with that one first. And then, oops, I'm going to take this one and I'm going to put it down here like this. You can take your fingers and go like that to place it. And then I'm going to go with the gas cans next instead. I want that in the middle. And then this one goes in the middle, the middle peak. And you're going to go in between these. So I'm just going to lay this down in like that. And, okay. May have to go like that, yeah. We may have to go like that. Don't worry, we'll fold them all back at the end. And then this one, I'm going to put, I'm just sure it lines up with that one. Okay. Find the best way. That's all I could tell you. Find the best way <laughs> that works for you. See, I just did that again. If you're a stamper and you do not have this tool, you need to get it. It removed, look at the, it removed all that adhesive right there. Look at that. Just, you know, we don't sell it, but get one. And then this one is going to go right, just kind of trying to line it up as best I can on this one right here. Okay. So let's go ahead and fold it again. Make sure it's all, look, look at that. So see when they open it, they'll see the sentiments go down like this. So happy Father's Day, all geared up. And then you've got these little flags in here to, to give it some kind of a look. Okay, so I'm gonna take some of these and I'm going to use some uh, Tombow because, you know, they got these little gears in here. And I'm just gonna lay a couple around. Okay. This actually does have these middle pieces I didn't take out. Okay. Some on here. You can just put a little dot like that. You don't have to, you know, it doesn't take much. Little dollops, little dot. Little dollop will do you. Isn't there a sour cream commercial like that? Right, and I'm going to take this one and put it down here. So it looks like, oh, you know how they, you know how you go into a garage and all the stuff is like all over the garage. Like, you know, there's screws all over the place. There's, I don't know about you, but like nails in our case are all over the floor. Steve's got this little metal thing. You got, I used to go through the shop and pick them up for him. Okay. And I'm just going to put them through there like that. Isn't that cute? Okay. So now you can also take some of these little bad boys. Where's our, take your cook or putty. Look, you can take some of these and put a little dollop, little dollop will do ya. And you can even throw them around in here. Let's see, on your flag. Okay, like that. Let's take another big one. I mean, you know, use what you got in there. You know, maybe we'll put one right here. Okay, well, we gotta lay it down like that. Okay, and then we'll take one of these. We're just gonna take three. Okay, and we'll go right here. Oh, that was probably a little bit too much. Okay, like that. Like their nails and stuff. Oh yeah, I like that how that turned out. Okay, so now let's do the front. Okay, this is we're gonna have to um, we're gonna take our little oil stain. Okay, put some adhesive on the back, and we're going to decorate this. Okay, so lay this down. 
And then I also cut a piece of uh, Misty Moonlight at five and eight by one and seven eighths, and then a piece of DSP five by one and three quarter. And I, this is how I had it originally, right? So I had all this on here like this. But I cut this out because I wanted to put this on here. But I'm going to lay it out first because I don't know. Is there a way for me to lay this out like this? No. I don't know if I want to still layer this and put this down like this. Okay. And go like that. I could cut that, you know, and go behind here like this. Okay. Or do I take this out all together and then just have this on here with this in the middle like that? What do y'all think? We'll go with that. We won't do the mat this time. Let's do let's get a different look. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this in half. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's probably not a good idea. <laughs> okay, and I will lay them down. I'm gonna put them down in the corner like this so that our car will go and cover up that little cut. See? Look at that. See, sometimes I know what I'm doing. Sometimes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some adhesive and I'm just gonna put right there and lay our little, whatchamacallit, down. And then I'm gonna put this back down like this. Make sure that I have this right before I lay this down. Yes. Okay. And I'm going to put some adhesive right here. Sometimes you just got to eyeball it, you know, sometimes. And then we'll take our adhesive. We probably should have done this before we put our car on there, but yeah, no. Okay. So we're going to take this and put our car right about here like this. And then we're gonna do the same thing with this. Again, probably a best the best thing would be to put your adhesive before you put your dimensionals on. Okay, well that's not gonna work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of glue <laughs> like that. That's how we're gonna solve that because I wanna be able to tack this down at the same time. Uh, yeah, let's not mess up, Denise. Okay. Don't you guys like that I leave these in there sometimes? I leave my mess up sometimes in the video, and sometimes I'm like, no, this is just ridiculous. I'm not going to do that. Because y'all would never get to watch the project be done. <laughs> no, that's not true. Okay, now let's fold this back up because we had it kind of like that. There you go. You just want to make sure that your peaks are coming out towards you, the three peaks like this. Oh my gosh, that is that turned out really cute. And I even used pieces from the die cuts that normally you wouldn't use. I mean, you know, these are little nails or whatever you want to call them. Stay down there, buddy. Oh, I liked how this turned out. Okay, so here's the original. Sorry if this was a long video, by the way, guys. <laughs> I'll try to cut it out as much as I can. So this is the red one, and we didn't do anything too fancy. We just laid it down, and this is with the strip of DSP, okay? And then just inside, because this was kind of like my test run. We had fun with it on Sunday night. And then this, I dressed it up a little bit, put some of the, you know, gears on there because that's what makes a car go, right? Now, again, I know this is a Father's Day card. You can turn around and make it into a birthday card. That's fine. Um, I'm just going to leave it like this, and I'm going to give this to somebody on Father's Day next year. Yeah. Or give it to a friend to give it to somebody who likes cars and stuff like that, All right? That is really cool. I like how I added the little pieces inside. Okay, sometimes I amaze myself because I, yeah, anyways. <laughs> oh, wait, we wanted to see if it fit in an envelope, didn't we? It's one of our envelopes. These are Stampin' Up! ones. So I always turn my cards over like this. And then here. <gasps> Look at that. Now, if you send this to the mail, extra postage, but it fits. See where this one wouldn't. But I mean, you can still make this size. That's fine if you want to make your own envelope. But. Uh, or, or you can even make this probably five by seven, to be honest with you. You just have to raise your paint, your DSP up, your cardstock, and you could probably put a couple more flags in there, but a small one like this. Okay, guys, I really do like this. I like how this turned out. Um, I not, uh, I like the color even, the Misty Moonlight. That really goes with the gears and stuff and the foil, so I really like that. Okay, guys, well, thanks for stopping by. Um, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and leave those comments, okay? Have a wonderful day or morning or evening whenever you're watching this. Bye, guys.